How's it going, guys? So today what we were saying was we were going to be moving stuff around and get some power production up. I've done a lot of research while we've been away just to kind of get things up to speed. I have also built two of these things, which is what we're going to be using. These are the power exchanges. And I've also built us two interstellar logistics just to make things a little bit easier for us. But before we do any of that, we've got to build us the ability to make solar panels and accumulators. So this is going to be pretty easy hopefully. So we'll pull the solar panels down and we'll pull the accumulators down right where we are, in all fairness. So, as with everything these days, we want to be going into... Here, I think. So for solar panels, what we need, we need silicon plate, we need the copper, and we need the computer chips. So, we might actually trip ourselves over it. The silicon plate is right at the top of the other side. And we need the computer chips, which are also just here, actually. Just one down. Not too bad. And we'll just extend these lines so that we're not in the way of ourselves. And then we can work out where we're going with the stuff anyway. So, silicon. Oh, my days. So, silicon, we'll pull that out. We'll come out here before we go down. The reason being, just in case we've got to move anything. And we are right in the way. We're going to be needing to do computer chips and finally copper plate which is nice and easiest right there so that should be easy enough to do with that so it's silicon it was chips and it was copper down here into an assembler and we just need to quickly build us three more sorters bada bing bada boom and for now, we'll put them in a box. So they're in there. All right, so that's solar panels being sorted. That's good. And then all we want is the accumulators. Now, where are these also built? I'm guessing these are built in an assembler as well, right? They are built in an assembler. So we'll just get ourselves an assembler all set up, ready to go. Huzzah! So then we're coming into the assembler. Hopefully, we can run those guys all in there. We'll get this to build us accumulators, and that should be good. So, with the accumulators, what we want to do is we want to send them off to our interplanetary thing. Now, what I'm going to do here is just run this straight out of here quite up close to the pole. The reason being, that's where I want to build everything. So, what we're going to do, we want to keep this close to the grid as well. So we want to come over here and we want to sort of like put this here and bring this conveyor in. Ideally, I'd bring it in this side, but it doesn't want to do that. There we go. So in here, what we're saying is we want this and this, and we want to demand... We want a remote demand and we want to supply. Everything wants to be supplied for this and every bent wants to be demand for this. And then, because we're all clever, we've already got some of these set up, so we'll put four in here and we'll hook them up and we'll get going. Now, we do need this to be in here, which I thought it would be if we built it close enough. In fact, we can do. What we'll do is we'll take that all down. So what we're basically saying is we want this to discharge any accumulators that have got power. Then what it will do is it will feed them back out onto the belt that will go back into this with empty accumulators. All ones come in and get discharged. Empty ones go out and get planet launched away. Luckily for us over here, we've got a box full of accumulators that we can take and we'll run those over here. Casually just throw them on this conveyor belt and load them up. Awesome, awesome. Right, now what we've got to do is basically grab ourselves solar panels and hope that we've got enough that we can shoot off into the distance and charge this thing up. We have just unlocked the ability to make purple cubes. Ooh, okay, so we're going to have to be looking at what we're going to be needing to get this stuff next. Which is all stuff that we've got, so that'll be good. We can make that kind of around here maybe and then ship the purple cubes along. Either way. And we'll get ready for a jump. And where we're going to go, I know we've built stuff on the white planet but 
I think if we go over here, because this is going to be beneficial for us for solar. Got 134% solar, so what we can do is we can throw ourselves up here. And we should be good. Got a nice tilt, so we should always get some sort of power anyway. So that'll be what we'll be doing. So we're aiming for numero uno, which is over here. Now we haven't been over here yet, but it's not going to be too bad. It doesn't particularly matter where we land. I do want to head for a pole. I think if we get to the north, maybe that'll help us a little bit. At least then it should be in sun a lot of the time. So it will hopefully charge up the accumulators and then we can ship them back across and then it will keep us discharging power. How effective and efficient it will be, I don't really know. Obviously we're sort of just starting this so we're not going to have hundreds of thousands of accumulators queuing up and backing in. So originally it's not going to be noticeable, I wouldn't have thought all that much. And there'll probably be a big gap between when the next set of charged accumulators are with us. But it'll be alright nonetheless I'm sure. Nice soft landing, and if we can head to the pole, which is up here, lovely jubbly. So, first off, I think if we build this, literally right here. So we build that there, and then if we build this straight here, what we can say then is we want coming out. Do one thing, and in fact, we can even request these while we're here. We can do this. We can do this. We can demand, and then that'll all be supply, and then like, where's that? We just demand that as well. And then obviously, coming out of here, because of how we built this, we've got to go out, straight out of the top. And then we'll go round, and we'll go back in. We want this, wants to charge. But what will it be charging? It's going to be charging all of this. So that's the start anyway, then we'll just have to keep coming back and ferrying the solar panels backwards and forwards so that they're able to come over here and charge up the accumulator. But it is what it is. While we were able, we were able to construct a few more solar panels, so that'd be good for us. But what we want to look at while we're back here anyway, we would like to look at being able to build those purple blocks. This accumulator was going to take too long, so what I've done is I've uh, upgraded it, shall we say. I've got this one on construction, so when it's finished, it'll pop out and we'll throw that back down. Talk of the devil. Hopefully it'll be quicker nonetheless. Purple blocks now. Purple block. We needed fibers and we needed processors. Now, processors is pretty good to go. We've got all this stuff. We've got the two that we need over there, but this... This is going to be interesting. Should be fine. Plus, so we'll get us two assemblers on the cut. We need some goodies, which is pretty handy being near this end of the line, because we can just pull them off the end of the line real easy over here. And then we go in here and we go, yep, build us two of them. Okay. So we're going to pull some of them off of that line, and then we need it. Green computer chips are all the way up here. Ah, uh, here, okay, so we'll go above there. Here we go, and we'll land this down. Run this. In here. Okay, assembler. Hook those bad boys up. Put this to make these. Grab some power, pump some power down. That'll be in the way anyway, don't worry about that. 15 a minute, that's not too bad, we can live with that. I think I will. I think I'll put these into a research facility. I also think we'll actually be better off running two. And then with that, we'll just run that into... Down here, and we'll just... For now, we'll put that in a box. And we want this. So, plastics. And the carbon that I think... Yeah, the nanotubing currently just chills on its own box. This doesn't go back up anywhere. So what we can do... Ooh. I'm going to look at running this nanotube in out of here. We've got to come up, 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 up. All the way above all this. Interesting. It wants to take it from the wrong side. Yeah. 
There we go. So that will release some nanotubing. So then where we are, we've got nanotubing, we've got plastic, and we've got the green crystals behind us there. So that's cool. Right. The nanotubing is going to be the biggie that we need to kind of pull out. So we Cool as you like it. Okay. And we want this to make those fibers. What we're saying is 5.5 a minute. Woo! Good job. We should have another ready to go. Lovely. And then what we need to do is get that in a research facility to start making us some blocks and then work out how we're going to get the blocks to the actual research center the other way. What we can do is if we can hit it on that belt, because that kind of goes in the right direction, maybe. So if we go research facility... We want this to do purples. And it'll just chug along and do that. Right, then what we're going to do is we're going to send them purple blocks miles and miles away. So we are pretty much somewhere with all of this builds anyway. It's now just a case of trying to balance it all out and upgrading it so that we are producing what we need. I think one of the big issues is all the iron production stuff and like this kind of stuff because it's just... Well, it's 22.5 a minute. So we need to upgrade that and get our production going. So we might need to start expanding things out a little bit, which that'll be fair enough. It'll work into our hands. If we sort of keep everything over this side, like it is, and maybe we can start pulling the research away and put them somewhere else. Might even be able to ship them down here, actually. Just to keep them nice and split, nice and separate. We'll have to have a look see how things work out. So with this built, what we were basically saying is something along the lines of asking this. While we think about it, we will we will send the purple chips also down the same path. Then what we'll do with this, because this can act as a local distribution and supply thing. So that's supply. So what we'll do is we'll put one in here. And then we'll fly all the way back over here. We'll ask this one to demand these, and then we'll also put that in there as well. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come out of here. We're going to run straight here, and that is going to want them, and ba-boom. And that'll keep that nice and easily fed, so that's going to help us pretty well. Be you a tip ball. We know what we're trying to do. It'll just be a case of balancing it out and getting stuff in a position that we want to be but we've got power coming in now from out of space as it were so this is doing it's due this is pulling in pretty well we've got production of most things now and we're currently just researching so it's just a case of optimizing this so we're getting as many purple cubes as we can which is just kind of going back down the line and seeing what we need to increase the production of to make it work out for us so yeah, I think we're somewhere where we want to be again. Uh, I'll try and tidy this up a little bit, maybe, and see what we balance and see what happens next time. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope to see you again next time. Take it easy. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye.